Hey Wilmington, I'm Kirsten Kapili and you're watching The Current. Our goal is to provide the Wilmington area with reliable and breaking stories, an inside scoop to student life, and connecting Seahawks while we soar apart. The Current is here to help you keep up with the flow. Current, we have the latest news for you as the fall 2020 semester comes to an end. Afterward, I will be joined by UNCW student and musician Taya Hayes for an interview and performance. But first, I am joined by Abby Winstead to find out what is current on campus today. Thank you, Kirsten. On Thursday, November 5th, Chancellor Sardarelli released a notice stating that banners located in our student free expression areas are missing and damaged, apparently stolen or vandalized. All of the banners were Black Lives Matter banners that have been sponsored by organizations on campus. In his notice, Chancellor Sardarelli wants us to remember the Seahawk Respect Compact, which actively fosters, encourages, and promotes inclusiveness, mutual respect, acceptance, and open-mindedness among students, faculty, staff, and the broader community. One of the banners stolen was sponsored by Che, and they have heard no further information regarding the incident. Kirsten has an update from the Chancellor regarding the end of the semester. That's right, Abby. With the semester finally coming to an end, make sure that you're staying safe around the holidays. Be mindful of others to reduce the spread of COVID-19 on campus by following the three W's. Wear a face covering, wait six feet apart, and wash your hands frequently. Be sure to carefully plan out your trip before heading home for the holiday and get tested three to four days before your departure to ensure the protection of your loved ones. If your result is positive, work with the Student Health Center for assistance. As needed, the UNCW quarantine and isolation spaces will be open and operational throughout the break. Just three weeks ago, the UNCW community lost a fellow Seahawk. Carly Ray Barron was a junior pre-communication studies major and a recent transfer student. On Halloween night, a traffic incident which led to an altercation that resulted in the deadly shooting and in Carly's death. The suspect, Jaquan Jackson, is currently being held at New Hanover County Jail awaiting charges for second degree murder. A GoFundMe organized by a friend of Carly's already has over $17,000 for her family. Carly's loved ones remember has a loving daughter and a compassionate friend. That's the latest for your Seahawk news. Up next, I will be joined by Taya Hayes for a sit down interview and performance, so stick around. Welcome back. I am here with communication major and musical artist Taya Hayes. Taya, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> very, very lucky to be here right now. <laughs> Okay. And I have a few questions for you. Okay. Um, what made you want to become a singer? I feel like I've always wanted to sing. For some reason, I, I don't ever know where it started. I just did it because I was good at it. And then I feel like it just flourished over the years. Um, just my love for it. Just the only thing I'm good at, too, honestly. So. Oh, that's so yeah. awesome. Um, what was the first song that you ever wrote? <laughs> it's actually very bad. Uh, it's called Movie Star. I don't want to get into it. It was, it's very bad. A total of two lines. Well, at least that was your beginning, right? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was beginning. You got to start somewhere. <laughs> very beginner. And what is your favorite part of being able to express yourself through music? My favorite part is it's almost like my journal, like my diary. It's just what I write about, how I feel, and then I like hide it in song lyrics, which is pretty, so when I sing it, it's hard to hear it out loud um, because I'm just like, they know everything about me, but really they don't. They just know the lyrics and the melody, but it just means so much deeper um, to me. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and what is your favorite kind of music to write? My favorite kind is probably worship right now. I just love it. I didn't always write worship music. Um, very like 
emo song <laughs> sad <laughs> and relationship wise but then it just as my passion started to flourish for worship it's just gotten better that's what I'm interested in right now and what message do you try to spread through your music I just try to spread like a lot of what I write about is what I've been through and just from experience and um I want to lift myself up and it comes from just my own song and hopefully just the big me too like I feel that when I hear this song it makes me want to do this it makes me feel that and relate to this so just honestly people who can relate and um, people don't really know how to express themselves can hear it um, in my music do you have a favorite song to perform <laughs> Um, probably Wilderness. That one, I just learned it on the ukulele. I didn't oh, wow. even come up with the chords, so my friend helped me, but um, I just love that song. That's one of my favorite ones right now. Awesome. And how do you hope to impact others through your work? Just that they can see that there's other ways to express um, just their pa Like, I don't even see it as just me writing music. I see it as through people's art and through music through everything like there's so many different ways to express how you feel and to tell your story and um i just want people to see that that music is my way of expressing my story but you can still do that in your art and your i feel like a lot of times people are like music is not really a career like you know and they downplay it a lot it's just for fun but it's something that really has shaped the way that I approach the world and my confidence in um, just in telling myself, my own story, um, just who I am. So just hoping that they can see that there's other ways um, through art and right. stuff. And what inspires you the most about your music? Um, <clears throat> is there somebody or? <laughs> what inspires me is that when I'm upset, um, I just hear the voice in my head to just keep singing. And that is always what recenters me, mm -hmm. is singing and making music. And the fact that I can still do that if I'm having like a crappy day or I'm just literally going through some of the toughest things, especially with COVID in this semester, um, being able to still create, that is just right. so amazing. And it just keeps me going. And how do you manage performing and your music career while in college? Honestly, it's one of those things where I was just like, don't know I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm actually doing it. I It's because overflow, honestly, just being a part of that and stepping into the worship team, I'm able to do that. And also be, it's something I always do. I go there every Tuesday. I make that my priority um, to show up and be a part of it. And I just kind of fell into it. and. I don't, it's kind of bad because I don't really care about school sometimes because I'm just like, I got music, I don't care. But I do, it's just, I do need to focus and prioritize. But honestly, it's just something that I don't even know I'm doing. It's just in my everyday, so. Right. And as a woman of color on campus, how has this year been different for you? Um, honestly, I haven't really been on campus this semester. But just dealing with like the social issues and stuff, I feel like it's made me get closer to my community and get asked questions that I don't normally get <laughs> asked about. It's about where I'm from and how I've grown up and just really wanting to understand. And I feel like having a stance too and what I, like am I Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter? Like just knowing where I stand and my voice behind that um, has been honestly inspiring just to see um, other people ask questions and actually care and that allows me to have a voice because typically I run away from issues like that and I was like I don't want to talk about it but I'm surrounded by people that are different from me every day so um, just being able to answer questions and talk to my community awesome. it's been good. And how do you think that UNCW could become more diverse or have more inclusion? Honestly it's I feel like what we do as individuals ultimately affects how we are as a whole. I feel like it's really hard to say like, what can we do as UNCW, but more, what can I do as a student here? And that's just with the people I'm surrounded by being inclusive, um, inviting people in that you may not invite typically. And just what I'm doing will ultimately be what UNCW does, especially if I'm a student. So I guess it's just 
you, me, um, everybody in this room, everybody watching, what can I do um, to make sure I'm including people? I'm asking questions. I'm not just being um, ignorant to um, what's going on in the people I'm talking to, actually getting to know people and inviting people in. And I feel like it starts there. So. And what does being a worship leader mean to you? It is something that so I've always wanted to lead worship and not just because um, I just feel like I'm a good singer or I want to be on stage. It's just because worship is how I feel connected um, to the Lord and honestly how I feel like I can express myself. And I just want to usher people into that and be able to be like, hey, you can find that here through what I'm doing. And even if you can't, you can feel something here and know that like, I'm not just making noise. Like I'm not just strumming. I'm not just, I'm actually singing because I believe what I'm singing and I believe what I'm doing. So I just wanted to be able to usher people into that. Right. And how has that helped you with your career goals? It has, uh, really made me I'm very indecisive <laughs> so it has clear gave me clarity and just knowing that wherever I end up I'm going to be doing something that is meaningful what I'm supposed to be doing um, it doesn't matter if that's a job sitting down or a, a, at a desk or a job actually on stage a job traveling it's like no matter where I'm going I know that I still got worship and however that's going to look or however that's going to be if it's just for me for the rest of my life I'm okay with that but it has de definitely gave me clarity and it doesn't matter where I'm ending up I'm, as long as I'm doing what I what inspires me and what pushes me and that's through worship and writing um, of course yeah <laughs> And for my final question, what can you tell us about the songs that you're performing for us today? Um, Wilderness is one of my newest songs, and I'm actually excited because it might get released at the end of the year um, wow. through Port City. So I don't know if I should say that, but that's a shameless plug. <laughs> but if I actually get re released, then I'm just, it's just a song that um, it's just been, a, it feels like I've been in the wilderness, honestly. Mm -hmm. but, craziness the world we're living in now i'm just like sit back and see that like this is this world is bizarre but it's just a song that constantly reminds me that no matter where i am no matter how lost i am that the lord is with me and he's guiding me through it and um so that it's just honestly a song of it's hard to think that if i'm lost if i'm stuck why should you be celebrating but this song makes me feel like I need to be celebrating. And that goes into Hallelujah anyway as well. Like I lost my brother last year, he was killed. And um, I wrote that song because I needed to know what my word, I pick a one word every year and last year my word was joy and I felt nothing but joy, but I had to learn that joy is something that is not um, fleeting. It's something that's constant. And in order to have joy, you need to be able to, in those hard times, still be uh, rejoicing and still be happy and still be um, praising and thankful and grateful. And that's where that song came from. So honestly, it just comes from a deeper place of just my journey. Um, and I'm happy that I was able to share that. Very sentimental. Every time I share, it's like afterwards. I'm okay, but then I cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding it in. I'm holding it together. But just my journey, those songs are a part of what the Lord's doing in me. And Thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. Thank you for listening and <laughs> having me here. Now here's Miss Taya Hayes performing Wilderness and Hallelujah Anyway.
everyone here at The Current. Thank, Thank you. you. And we hope you have a teal-tastic break. That's a wrap. <laughs>